What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. And then before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join the best pitching community on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Nick Lodolo, who had nine strikeouts in six innings, giving up no earned runs. His breaking ball was filthy. Look at the sweep on these things. They had up to 16 inches of horizontal break, and at that arm slot, it seems like a lot more. And if you're wondering why you might swing at a breaking ball way out of the zone in the dirt, here's a breaking ball overlaid with a low fastball. You have virtually no time to decide, and those pitches are in the exact same plane. You can see why he had a 67% whiff rate on that pitch last night and a 48% whiff rate on it for the season. JT Brubaker had four strikeouts in six innings, going up against Adrian Sampson who had three Ks in seven innings. Aaron Ashby had nine strikeouts in seven innings, giving up only two runs thanks to these wicked sliders and his hard mid to upper 90s sinker. Despite that filth, he was actually outdueled by Kyle Freeland who had these fastballs on his way to seven strikeouts in seven innings, giving up no runs. Tony Gonsolin had these dirty splitters, picking up four Ks, but he did give up four runs and picked up his first loss. A little stumble in his quest to get back into the Cy Young race. Jacob Junis had this nasty slider. He was outdueled by Merrill Kelly, who was brilliant. Kelly had seven Ks in eight scoreless innings, giving up only three hits, thanks mostly to his filthy two-seamer. Zach Plezak had this nasty stuff, but was outdueled by Nick Pavetta. Pavetta had his mean combination of knuckle curves and elevated fastballs working. And here's a curveball fastball overlay that shows you why you would swing at an elevated fastball well out of the zone. That curveball really sets up the elevated fastball well. Speaking of curveballs, Zach Grinke had this beautiful 67 mile an hour slow curve on his way to five strikeouts in five scoreless innings. Grinke outpitched Noah Syndergaard, who had this filth, on his way to six strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run. Ranger Suarez had this nasty changeup in slider. My starting pitcher with the prettiest stuff of the night was Max Freed. Freed was having a tough time finding his slider, but his curveball, well, he found that. And Max's curveball was absolutely beautiful. He had a 57% whiff rate on the curveball last night, and no wonder, they're too pretty to hit. He ended up with eight strikeouts in six innings, thanks mostly to this curveball. Freed also showed off his gold glove fielding skills with this play. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Garrett Whitlock had this filth. Jose Alvarado had these sick cutters. Daniel Bard had this overpowering 99 mile an hour two seamer that ran 16 inches and got the sword. One of my favorite pitchers to watch, James Karinchak, was back and insane as ever. I love this with the crowd counting how long it's taking him in between pitches, and it just fires my man up even more. And a doubly fired up Karinchak? That's dangerous. He had four Ks in one and two thirds innings, and look at his reaction after that fourth K. Having a crowd fire up James Karinchak, it's like drinking a pot of coffee and then downing a Red Bull and a Bang Energy drink while sniffing smelling salts. It's a little unnecessary and may make you lose your mind. Sir Anthony Dominguez had this sick 93 mile an hour changeup. And lastly, my filthiest pitcher of the day for the third consecutive day is Felix Bautista and his splitters. Just totally disgusting. You can see why opponents are only hitting 085 against it on the season with a 54% whiff rate. Congrats, Felix, on three consecutive days of being the filthiest reliever of the day. Insane. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. And Wyatt Mills is going to try to become the first pitcher in Major League history to appear in a game without his hat. What is up, Ninja Nation? Today, I'm going to focus on the Subway Series, make it a little more interesting. I'm going to go with a same-game parlay, Jordan Montgomery for six strikeouts or more, and Ty Walker for seven strikeouts or more. Here's the current line. What would your picks of the day be? 